Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Sitrep Happy Hour, where we're talking all the lovely stuff <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Sorry, they're just going to catch that sigh at the start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Uh, first up, obviously, he's the first one talking, so we're going to go straight over to him today. Brad, welcome back. Hello. I don't know where you've been, welcome but back. welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. You've been on the absinthe again, haven't you? Oh, uh, no. I'm, I'm staying absent from the absinthe. <laughs> Uh, and that other lovely voice that you can hear with me this week is Luke. Hello, Luke. Hi, I'm back too. Uh, Rob, are you thinking you're back? I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rob sounds we... different. I'm ill. I'm, I'm ill. I'm not very well. Right. Okay. I like the way that I'm you're cold. Fucking... I've not got any viruses. Just. <laughs> but now there. I mean, we are we are social distancing quite well. <laughs> I'm, I'm a good couple of hundred miles away from the three of you this is true <laughs> right I, I i feel like i need to get this out of the way first that yes i've had a high temperature this week and i've had to get <laughs> tested for covid you like do i think it's covid you like no. schrodinger's illness right now won't you? you either do or don't have covid at the same time well the weird thing as well is i'm not allowed back to work till i'm fully better and I've, i'm now fully I'm better silly. fully better i'm, I'm Learn well english dude know. <laughs> Wait, you got, I thought I might you got get penicillin. Bit. How did you get penicillin? Did you go to the doctors? Uh, no, no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> How else do you get fucking penicillin? I, don't know. I thought you had to avoid the your underwear. You might have coronavirus, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> penicillin isn't going to fix coronavirus, dude. I know, but like, you got a bad chance with rehip not working. Yeah, You're on like, bleach instead. I mean, at least they'll make you forget about it for five minutes. <laughs> Donald Trump proves this message. Drink bleach. <laughs> oh, oh what yes. A uh, it's what day two, day two, and I'm still waiting for my results. So day, day two, two in the Big Brother house. Mike is my in the dude. diary room. Mike is looking at a bottle of bleach <laughs> and deciding whether he wants to drink it or not. Howie. <laughs> Well, that's an excellent start to this episode. Uh, let's go straight into what we're drinking this week. But before we do, I would just want to reiterate: I'm Mike, I'm um, the co-host, of, co-host, host of this bullshit. Apparently, this is the greatest intro we've ever done. <laughs> Are you drinking alcohol if you're on uh, antibiotics? Sadly, not. So I guess I'm going to talk like about a, what I'm drinking this week. Yeah, go for it. You go first. Well, I, I, I can't drink alcohol because it, you know, fucks with my penicillin, Robert, that you can get from your local drug dealer, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm drinking a nice fruity cup of green tea. Lovely. Hardcore, dude. That's how you rock and roll on a Friday night right there. Yeah. I'm slightly jealous. I don't think you are. <laughs> Rob, do you want to say what you you told me and Luke before we started recording? What How you're going to fight your cold? Oh, I'm going to destroy it with alcohol. <laughs> this evening, it's um, tomorrow. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be. Yeah. I'm going to be hungover Hel- as fuck. Healthy but, is the word. Yeah, but I won't have a cold anymore. I've never felt so healthy. Ooh, <laughs> Chill, uh, take the I'm, kids out I'm, and just leave me in as, peace. As I'm talking, I'm drinking uh, some American IPA from Bad Company that's especially <laughs> no. exclusively brewed for Asda. Um, inspired by the great outdoors, this is a bold, hoppy IPA with notes of citrus and pine. All right, now, can you redo that whole speech whilst you're drinking it? Because you just said, I'm drinking it while I'm talking, so please... I'm gonna see what a mess you fucking make. Everyone. I can't talk while drinking, you moron. <laughs> you said my mouth would be. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, Brad, what are you drinking this week, dude? I am drinking Soul for the third episode running. I think. Wow, dude! I bought three crates of it. So oh, for did fuck's you, sake, did you still burn through that soul. <laughs> I feel bad. Like what two episodes you got caught <laughs> out for? It. It's fine. Come Those on, three I, crates I, I would have been gone in a week over in Rob's house, so don't worry about it. I'm excited uh, for Luke's because he he should have a vast array. The amount he said he spent <laughs> on alcohol. 
Well, it, de- it depends what you call a vast array. I mean, he could have spent the whole lot on one thing. I definitely, uh, Luke, I definitely I b- didn't. I believe you spent what? What was it? Seventy quid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm locked and loaded for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So the best of it is, I, I was like leaving work, and I was like, right, I'm going to pop to Asda because I need some beers for tonight. So I texted my girlfriend, I was like, do we need anything from Asda? And she replied back with, no. Fast forward half an hour, I've spent £70 on alcohol <laughs> in Asda. <laughs> <laughs> All for me. Like, did you like, go um, to the self-checkout, or did you no. Did you use a, a, a cashier? I used a person. Did they look at you weirdly? Strangely enough, no. Okay. Did, did they say to again. themselves? Did they say to themselves? Have a well, good this weekend. Clear. <laughs> no. Did Did they ask? Are you following the six person? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is all for me because I help hate people. <laughs> the six person <laughs> social distancing rules. <laughs> depending on how depending on how much of this alcohol drink, there might be seven other people in the room with me afterwards. <laughs> Just see eight eight reflections. <laughs> It's, it's when you when you say, "Well, no, I've bought this now just in case there's a lockdown," because you are obviously up in the north, north of the wall. I'm in the middle <laughs> for the umpteenth time. What did you actually buy? Um, oh. Two bottles of bourbon, three crates of alcohol, which Brad did include a crate of salt. Oh. What? Can't call um, you on it now, dude. No, <laughs> I'm saving that special. Um, Why did you buy Sol? Because it's less than a pound a bottle when it's on the three for twenty one deal in Asda. See, that's why I got three crates. Three I got 21. one crate because I don't hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you liked it. It's lager. Okay. And cheap. <laughs> it has an alcohol percentage of above zero. So <laughs> <laughs> it's twelve bottles for seven quid, dude. It's not to be sniffed. It's pretty at. fucking good, yeah. And I bought one of, so are, one of the crates. The was a, Brad, you've got a bottle in your hand. How big are the bottles? Uh, three thirty. So a can of Coke. Yeah, or one of these that we're drinking anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're drinking like a fucking can of Coke sized drink yeah, anyway. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so yeah, to answer your earlier question, Mike, I am currently drinking a Goose Island Midway Session IPA, which is. Nice. Fucking delicious. Oh, is that the drink you guys are brosing about? I, I missed the conversation earlier. Uh, no, I think me and Rob are going through an IPA phase at the moment, but we are drinking separate IPAs. Okay. Is it nice. like an older person thing when you get IPAs? I no, will slap the really shit nice. out of you next time I see you. <laughs> is that why we're... <laughs> I'm fucked. It starts next year, I think. So that's me fucked. <laughs> what starts next year? Well, is, Rob's older than me. Is there a special so, age that you have to be to drink IPA? Apart from 18. Well, I don't fucking no, drink IPA. <clears throat> it's really nice. Thank you for that input, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have we been up to over the past couple of weeks, boys? Uh, Luke. Hi. Let's go straight to you. What have you been up to? <laughs> you did what I did last week and said hi again. <laughs> <laughs> I not, not last week, two weeks ago. Watched a few films for a special episode that we were going to do tonight that we've decided not to do tonight, which I don't want to give away what films they are because they'll give away what special episode we're doing. I don't worry about it. I'm going to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we at least announce what we're doing next episode? Are we allowed that? Well, well, well yeah. like I said, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Go for it then, Rob. Uh, we've all been, well, some of us have been watching. <laughs> I have been. <laughs> Keanu Reeves films, because we're doing a Keanu Reeves special, like we did with our Arnold special. Special? Because that's not a word. Um, Robert sounds... I've watched quite a f- I've watched quite a few. Have you watched all of them? No. Okay. Not good enough. Yeah. Try harder, dude. Yeah, you got another but two no, weeks. It's, back, back Luke, all, it's, it's not my turn. It's Luke's it's turn. Fu- it's fine, Luke. Uh, I've done the same as Rob. Watched some Keanu Reeves movies. Not as many as Rob, and not as many as Mike, but more than Brad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Brad, what have you been up to the past couple of weeks? I'm watching less Keanu Reeves films than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I watched two, but I will try and watch a couple more for when we do the. 
I will say for preparation. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, we've known about this for a month, though, so, you know. (laughs) Yeah, I know. You you might watch one more. I've been slacking. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. I've just, yeah. (laughs) And the the football (laughs) season started, so, you know, we ain't got no hope. (laughs) You've just been dossing, that's it. (laughs) Yeah, I've been playing the shit out of Stardew Valley, really. (laughs) (laughs) You've been doing, you could (laughs) have... Played that whilst watching Keanu Reeves no, films. No. <laughs> oh, you can. Yeah. Some of them you can. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, I, Robert, I watched one I've never watched before and it was pretty good. Shh. Okay. Save it. Shh. No, 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 I won't say which one. <laughs> right, no spoilers. Rob, what have you been up to the past couple of um, weeks? Yeah, I watched a lot of Keanu Reeves films. Um, I also you also watched... got some news. You also got some fucking news. Oh yeah, dude. the twins are girls. Both girls. Congratulations. Uh, they're a bit yeah. small. We, have a, we are having extra scans because they're a bit small. Um, which is just, it's just great because we get more pictures. Um, they're not, it's not worryingly small. They're just sort of high-risk pregnancy. So. More scans. Which means Cheryl has to drive to the hospital every two weeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't go to the... I, I can only go to the big scans because the hospital rules and shit which means i can't i can't take her she's a bit annoying but um i've watched an itv drama called des <clears throat> which if any of you haven't seen it you should watch it it's really good is that what's, the david tennant one yeah what's itv yeah. it's uh <laughs> it used to be called um no i don't know what it used to be called um <laughs> fail channel <laughs> channel three well, it used to be Channel 3. It's probably oh, 103, wow. you 103 watched, on Sky. You watched Council TV. Holy shit. I, I didn't watch it while it was on because I don't have an aerial. I watched it on demand. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really good. Really enjoyed it. David Tennant's fucking amazing in it. Who's he portraying? Uh... I can't remember his name. Dennis? No. Dennis something, yeah. I can't remember. Nielsen? No. Dennis Nielsen, yeah. yeah. From the yeah. from the 80s. It's like, nice. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, what have I been up to the past couple of weeks? Uh, well, Bill, pretty sick this week, so this week's been a bit of a write-off. But I've been playing uh, Minecraft Dungeons with my boy, my oh, eldest nice. boy. So good, it's, right? It's really good. Told apart you. from we're getting... It's getting a bit more difficult, and I'm like, Remy, what are you doing? Please don't run into this. He's basically Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. With zombies. Yeah, yeah. And it's absolutely like, I'm getting pummeled. I'm trying to like get him back, uh, revive him. You're at the point where you have to start making builds, right? <clears throat> like healer builds uh, and it's, stuff. Like you have to have. Oh, no. It was, it was before that. Like there was a point where I was like, dude, you need to put that, that like sword on because it's higher level. You know, he's yeah, new yeah, to yeah, this yeah. old RPG style. You know, you pick up loot that's better. He's like, nah, I want to use this one because it looks better. I'm like, <laughs> dude, that's like level two. You've got like a level 10. No, I mean, you're kidding me. Like, we're going to die. <laughs> uh, so I've been playing that. He's, he's really, really enjoying that. Um, I'm going to be honest. I've watched a fair few Keanu Reeves films like you guys. I managed to watch six over a weekend. Uh, one of which I kind of watched. Did I watch? I watched. Kind of did what Rob said last episode. I will give away because we're probably going to talk about it. Uh, the Matrix. I watched that with Remy. I managed to co- cover his eyes. It's not that bad, to be honest. What what parts would you want to cover his eyes at? Uh, the birth scene with Keanu, where they basically wake oh, him up no, and all the fuck like fine. it's yeah to someone that's spent like from the age of zero watching horror films and all the rest of it he's not seen anything like that gross amount or anything so yeah um and i've been watching a fuck ton of uh cobra kai and i've watched the karate kid last night as well <laughs> is it still it's good really, it's good i really like it man i really really like it uh is, is it cheesy yes does it feel like it's following some of like the plot threads of the, the original films? Yeah, but it's gonna like you're seeing like the same kind of fights and stuff. But it's just it's done in a way that I find quite interesting. But I know Rob can't get past the terrible acting, but it's cheesy. It's supposed to be. It's not cheesy. It's just bad. Yeah, probably. 
I don't know. I'm enjoying it. It's dumb TV, but there's some uh, there's some new TV up at the minute. So I think it's Ratchet is up this week weekend. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. that film's out as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, Devil all the, the Devil. Time, is it? Yeah, my wife's yeah, already. I'm gonna try and catch them. My wife's already watched like a lot of Ratchet, and she's watched the film. I don't know what she thought of them. She was cool. watching Ratchet today. <laughs> I caught nice. some of it. I caught like the, the bit way off the trailer. All right. Uh, moving on anyway. Luke, you've got a question for the listeners. I do. Um, I had to quickly come up with a new quiz question tonight because the quiz question <laughs> that I had banked was all about Keanu Reeves, which would have been you a bit awkward for next anyway. week. Well, yeah, but then I'd have to find another one for next week and, well, not next week, next episode. Sorry, shit, I'm not even doing it now. Um, <clears throat> So, it's just a weekly episode. <laughs> yeah, Dude, your, blood, your, your, liver couldn't, your liver couldn't handle a weekly episode if we did. Challenge accepted. Oh no, not <laughs> you. Oh, I think Luke could do a daily episode. <laughs> I don't know. That that would get a bit tedious. I'd be sick of your three's face. Anyway, <laughs> um. Can anybody name me the only one of Tom Hanks's films, and there are many of them, which First gun. included his wife and his two children? Uh, to... Cast away. Wrong answer. Okay. I feel, I feel like we shouldn't just guess Tom Hanks' films. Um, is Colin Hanks... Shaving Ryan's Privates. No, I'm pretty sure it's not, not a one. Tom Hanks movie. Sorry, Saving <clears throat> Private Ryan. No, <laughs> you watched a different one. type of movie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we had a discussion about that pre-show, and I don't think we want, do we want to know. Can you find Shaving Ryan's Privates on mvideo.com? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody listening now hasn't got a fucking clue what no. you're talking about. Are we going to leave we it there? Just, <laughs> we were just... No, I'll leave it there as well. Okay, moving on. Uh, last episode, we talked about, uh, what was it, DC fandom. We went over all the various things, but we did omit one thing, and <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. It was in the notes, and I think we forgot. We forgot it, or we got so excited about the Suicide Squad Um that we admitted it, which was basically the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer finally got released. Um, very quickly, any thoughts on that before we move on? Uh, or even if you're looking forward to it. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Brad first on this one. Um, I haven't watched the trailer again since before that episode, but it, I, it looked fine. I enjoyed <laughs> the first one, so <laughs> I, I will watch this one. Uh, Rob? Yeah, it's got Gal Gadot in it. I'm on board. <laughs> I feel like Luke's right? answer is going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are you more excited for? Mur what was it? Murder on the Nile or uh, Wonder Woman 1984? I don't know what Murder on the Nile is, so... Uh, it's um, py py Pyro? Pyro? I can't fucking remember the name. Poirot. Po Poirot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you tell. ever take the piss out of rob's french for his wine reviews ever again <laughs> Poirot. P P P <laughs> yeah i'm from north it's pravo is that the murder right. on the express or that thing yeah on the express though express <laughs> <laughs> oh God dear sake. uh is that luke's answer then because it's got gal good -er. Did, have you even seen the first one? Gal Gadot. Yes. Not Gal Gadot. What are you talking about? Yes, I have. Okay. She, you know, she's a very good actress. I, I will enjoy the movie for its acting qualities. Mm. <laughs> and that's not all. <laughs> anyway. What? Uh, <clears throat> what, you want to add some? No, I just don't understand why you're laughing at me. I was deadly serious. Okay. I'm still waiting for the joke. Sorry. 
<laughs> okay. I, I didn't even think you'd seen Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder you see? Uh-huh. You, think you, know some, got... you think you know me, don't you? Yeah, I haven't got a fucking <clears throat> clue. I do have to improve the uh, CGI from the first film because it was jerky as shit. I hope they've improved. The yeah, form. the the cheater doesn't. I didn't think it looked great. Oh that yeah, fight bit. Yeah, I don't like it the doesn't woman. Look very I good. don't like the woman who plays cheater. So, oh, you don't, do you? No, she What's her name? The shit out of me. The the one from Ghostbusters twenty sixteen. Kirsten, Chris, no, Wig, Kirsten Wig, 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 Wig. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, she's no, she's face. good. She's good in other stuff. Just I don't know. Name I'm something else she's good in. Uh, the wet hot, wet hot American summer camp program that was on Netflix. The the old film it was pretty good. Not Rob's nodding <laughs> response. <laughs> <laughs> Bridesmaids, wrong. There's nothing good <laughs> about that movie. Not not a single second of that movie comes under category good. Hey, Melissa McCarthy put in Oh, her fuck best. off, dude. <laughs> uh, she's just the worst. I saw a meme no, the other day of like, the, um, is it, um, uh, fucking actors that played themselves, uh, like Kit, and it was just a picture of loads of actors that she was on it because she literally just plays herself in every film. She was good in, I'm trying to think the film she was Spy. in. What was uh, that shitty Muppets one? <clears throat> Oh, she, no, yeah, but then she was just playing herself, dude. Happy Time Murders or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that Have was you pretty seen funny. Spy? Spy's really good. That She's good in that. Yeah, she is good in that. She's good in St. Vincent as Wait, well who, with who, Bill Murray. Are we still talking about Kristen Wiig or have we moved on no, to Melissa McCarthy? No, we've moved on. Um, <laughs> we're um, talking about Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> also from Ghostbusters 2016. Hey, anyway, let's move on to today's subject, which is pretty much... It's going to be talking about next gen. Next gen is almost here for a lot of people. November is going to be a stacked month, and there's been a lot of build up to this point as Xbox and PlayStation are going head to head this November. Uh, is anyone excited to, um, for the new consoles at all? I know Brad might be. <laughs> One quarter of us are. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Brad's just sat there smiling with the biggest grin. Yeah, the I was just got, waiting for one of the other two. He's the only one that's got one pre-ordered. The rest of us are just like, yeah, no. Nah. I did. I pre-ordered a PS5. We got a PC. It's fine. <laughs> did you rock up with the cash in pound coins? <laughs> oh, dude. Well, I only had to play a, de- a play. I only had to pay a deposit. <laughs> he had so. to play for his deposit. <laughs> that would be great. If you f- finish this game, you have to come first in this Call of Duty game, and then you can, <laughs> then you can pre-order. Fuck me, I'd, ne- I'd never win if it was that. <laughs> imagine, imagine if it was it was Warzone. <laughs> oh, dude, if it was like Street Fighter or something, that'd be that, great. That, that I could win at. That'd be fucking great. Street How did it feel anyway, Brad? Putting down your money. Which one did you order, and how many peripherals did you order with it? <laughs> I ordered the uh, normal one, the disc one. Okay, the normal one. And, <laughs> well, that is technically the normal one because normally they right. have discs. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I ordered. I pre-ordered the standard disc drive PS5, and I also pre-ordered Spider Man. Extra controller, S- headphones. Nope. Nope, you're not allowed over, dude. There's uh, a social distance. Camera. In there. You uh, got too many family. Did you get the little mark, the little uh, remote. Control? I thought about getting the um, headset bundle, but they were all sold out online. Dude, you're, oh, you're wearing this? the best yeah. headphones you could ever buy. Why would you? Um... I know, but can I use these on it? Yeah, of course you can. Can I? Yeah. How? Plug it in. <laughs> to what? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a jack. Oh. In, into the into your controller. Wow, the confused faces right now. Anyway, moving on. Luke, are you <laughs> interested in either the Xbox or the PlayStation this November? For the first at all? time ever. No. This will be the not f- at all. This will be the f- either of This them. will be the first PlayStation that I don't buy. I mean, I, it is understandable. I don't think um, Escape from Tarkov is on PlayStation yet. It's definitely never going to be on PlayStation. Or Xbox, for that matter. Or Switch, so fuck you. 
Okay, so please. Oh, can you um, imagine that shit? I'm <laughs> worried. Someone can. Someone <laughs> four three seconds. <laughs> three. I was going to say three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please clip that statement because if it ever changes in the next it few won't. years, you need too many keys. Yeah, can't, talk, can't, talk off cannot can't come map, to console, mate. You can't map it to a controller because there's not enough buttons. You saw the hot mess that PUBG was when it came onto console, didn't you? With the shit UI and stuff. Just talk, oh yeah, they're you, trying to give it away on PlayStation Plus. Yeah, the you've played Tarkov. You, uh, first of all, it's nowhere near as optimized as PUBG was, and that was on fire when it came onto PlayStation and Xbox. And the UI is definitely not console friendly. That that game. Just no. <laughs> they would, they would have to do like a very dull down version of it, and it wouldn't be the same game. Uh, Robert, are you interested in either? Uh, the personally, Xbox? no. I'm going to buy one for my kids. I'm going to buy a PlayStation for the kids. I haven't pre-ordered PlayStation Five. I'm probably going to get the digital version because it's cheaper. Can't, can't be asked to buy games in the shop. <laughs> Is there going to be any shops open to buy games? I say sh like shops open, but like game stores to actually buy games anymore. It's kind of interesting how that's kind of going. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah, I think Amazon and obviously your your local supermarkets and stuff like that. Like it's to the point now that they're closing the game the game shop nearest me, and they're putting it in like the back end corner of sports direct jeez really are you being serious wow. yes that's how bad it is near, near us so you know you, you haven't got to pay for rent or anything like that it's just like it's there it's it's the weirdest thing ever there's like people buying like nike shoes and all the rest of it on one side and people picking up Tony oh, dude, they, they will <laughs> definitely be paying rent in sports direct mike ashley is a money grabbing asshole yeah, yes, but let's be yes. honest, they, they've got like one dude. They don't have to have like five, six people stock it. It's, you know, it, it doesn't take long. You know, you, if you, I'll take a picture and I'll, I'll send it to you guys at some point, but it's compared to what game stores used to be. And like when we used to have game stations, there used like to that, be it's just two game stores in Yeovil. Yeah, two. and now there's, now they, they're closing. Yeah, the I think there's two one. in Weymouth as well. Yeah. Mm. There is still um, one in my local town. Yeah, we've it's quite oh. a decent sized one as well, to be fair. Mm. And then there's one in the next town over as well, which is in like a you know, those <clears throat> those like shopping centre outlet type things. Where you get the Nike outlet shore and store and all the trainers are like last season's designs and they're twenty quid off RRP and whatever. So Oh factory outlet things, yeah. Yes, factory outlet, thank you. That's that's more like what I'm thinking. Uh yeah. Okay, well, I'm I'm interested, but I haven't pre-ordered. I think I'm just going to see what happens. I I mean, let's be honest, the pre-order debacle has been, especially for PlayStation, there's no pre-orders yet uh, for the Xbox Series X. I don't believe till next week. Yes, yeah, 22nd, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow, so they, X so they announced all their deals first, but their pre-orders yes. come last. Technically, they did, and Xbox uh, basically has the Series S and the Series X leak early and the price i believe the price is leaked early or something i can't they, remember what they they look like they official oh what so they've released all the official yeah, yeah they kind of got their the arm leak. twisted didn't right. they so fair enough fair enough yeah and they basically ran <laughs> with it with like one of the biggest memes on the internet for that day has never had to have been um but yeah we don't find out what they're they basically uh took a huge dig at sony because sony was like his all the games that are going to be kind of coming soon for the PlayStation 5. Here's how much it is. And then they just kind of went, we'll let you know when pricing, uh, pre-orders and stuff will be up. And then shops would just kind of freaking went, there you go. And people weren't ready for it. So, I talked to the guy in game mm -hmm. and he said the website had a queue of 250,000 people before it even went live. What game? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I said to you, and you were like, "I'm going to street to go get one." I was like, "If you have oh, to no, go no, I, would, I wouldn't street. have got one in street. Oh, I just right, didn't okay. think I was going to get a chance to go into town." But Laura dropped me down before You're we like, went. Damn. damn it, bitch! Take me down. No, <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you got one. Um, I got. I got to be honest. I was quite interested in the uh, Xbox. I don't know if anybody else was, but let's be honest. the The Series X came out. What's the the price of this series, the Series X is like the the lower end version of the new Xbox, and I think the price was like two hundred and fifty quid. Not the S. I can't be honest. Yeah, the S. Yeah, 
And I'm like, for an entry level console that is supposed to be next gen, that is pretty decent. That's a pretty decent price as well. You know, everyone can kind of get on board with that and actually have access to. Um, it's not essentially gen. like a streaming like machine. Is it like a you you just stream all the games, right? There's no storage. There's nothing. It's just a box. That, no, I that, think there is there is storage. Um, it's just a lower amount than what's actually in the Series X. I, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, but like I know Xbox are trying to create like a streaming service, like Nvidia did, because I've got an Nvidia Shield, and they have. Yeah, they've got like a service where you can play games. I'm pretty sure Xbox are trying to create a similar thing. I thought the Xbox Series S was like a basically a, a glorified Nvidia Shield. No, it's got. I think it's got about 500 gig. It's 512 gig by the looks of it uh, for the Series S, so the lower end edition. Um, you've got about a terabyte for the full Series X edition, and then. Um, the PlayStation 5 actually comes with a 825 custom SSD, which is supposed to be absolutely insane, but we're waiting to see what that's like. Yeah, they're like hybrid SSDs, aren't they? <clears throat> yeah. But the insane thing that kind of happened off the back of that is the PlayStation 5 released and they've, they've, tr they've given people what the digital edition for a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds less. So you can pick pick up a uh, PlayStation Five um, with a disc drive for four hundred and fifty quid. That's the one that Brad's bought, or you can get the digital edition, which is three hundred and fifty. Sixty. So for like three sixty. Yeah, three fifty nine. Three fifty nine. So three sixty. All oh, right. Okay. I thought it was it was dead on uh, hundred pounds cheaper, but you basically like looking at the um, actual specifications. The Series S Xbox is about four teraflops. Yet the full edition, the Series X, is 12 teraflops. Oh, so... Be, so for like an extra 100 quid, you'd be getting the PS5, which is 10.28 teraflops. Um, I mean, that's if you want to really... I mean, ter teraflops isn't really what you want to look... It's not the number you want to look at. It's how it actually is overall, but... No, but like PlayStation you know, haven't gutted their digital edition. It's just not got a DVD drive, a Blu-ray drive. Yeah. So they basically, if you buy the Series S, the um, you're buying the lower end edition, which can't do certain things that you know you've got a digital only drive. You you can't. There's no 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray drive. So, much so like what you're what. telling me is, don't buy an Xbox. No, I I I, I thought about it because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get Play, PlayStation. I know Brad was going to get PlayStation. Um, it's just the the value side of it. At the end of the day, it's like, do you really want to spend 450 quid on a console? We we all play on PC. The difference is that Xbox have, don't they have like a mobile phone like contract sort of deal, right? Yeah. What what have they just released? Does anyone know? It's um Xbox. It's like Game Pass or something for mobile. Oh, it's cloud gaming. Is it Xbox Cloud? You, cloud or something? You put something in chat and it was like you buy this, and you pay so much. A month. You pay monthly or something. That, yeah. And after so two but, years, you like you're in you're in good because you you're getting the game pass for like the right price, and you're getting the console for the right price over two years. So you're basically not paying interest over those two years. That was it. Yeah. yeah. You basically get the game pass on the Xbox for two years, interest free credit, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Like whatever that is over two years, it's like 30 quid a month or whatever, which is far more reachable for people that don't want to just go out and spunk 450 quid away on a brand new it's, console. It's the mobile then, phone yeah. model, isn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like them going down the iPhone model of going with, Oh, well, here's the new iPhone and here's the really shit new iPhone that people that can't afford this one could buy this one and wish that they had this one. But the crazy thing is, give it a year or two, right? Uh, probably about two years. We, we've got the PS4 Pro. It's meant to be more pow powerful than the PS4. But then the stuff, I, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure in, in, in the past, with the, when we've had new iterations of current consoles, they end up leaving bits behind. So, you know, they, they end up being cheaper at some point. 
but you end up missing features that were originally in 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 that first release console and i think we might actually see it happen here you know again um i think it's i i think at this point i don't know if you guys agree i mean if you were to go pick up a console what would you go pick up based on this i'm gonna go to you luke because i know you're not overly (laughs) interested but like pr- he's, price he's point in biased. mind, you go in literally off the back of what you said with regards to Game Pass and having access to a load of games. Because let's be honest, Game Pass is a pretty fucking good deal. It is good at the minute. You have all those games at your fingertips. To be honest, to be honest with you, nowadays I don't think it matters. Because like it used to be, you'd buy the next the next console. So you know when you're trading from one to two, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you'd buy the console that your mates were going to get, wouldn't you? Because that was the only way to play with them. Nowadays, I don't think it matters so much because you know, no. we we became friends over the internet rather than what we were, what console we were playing. I know obviously we, we helped that we were on PlayStation, but so you can make friends online a lot easier. Like back in the day, you couldn't play games online anyway. Um, and then obviously, latterly, there's been crossplay coming, hasn't there? So Xbox people can play with PlayStation people on games like COD and whatever. So I don't think it really matters. I think what it will come down to is the exclusive titles. And something as basic as which controller you like to hold. Yeah. Because I fucking hate Xbox controllers. So I think the answer to your question would be it. PlayStation. I, have, I haven't seen a new Xbox controller. Have you seen the new PlayStation controller? Yes. Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. I, can't, I think the whole, sy- the, the whole system looks good, to be honest. It's I'm quite a stylish forward. design, to be fair. Looking forward yeah, to the whole nice. haptic th- feedback thing. Like, yeah. That's going to be... I think what Luke said... Is- Right though, like it personally for me, the only I say the only reason the only reason I buy PlayStation is because of the exclusives. So if say for instance Horizon, The Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid, those sort of games are on Xbox, then I would buy an Xbox. Mm. So they no, wouldn't because yeah, they'd they, be on PC. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Luke, Luke uh, true, true. Luke, no, I'd but buy that, an RTX thirty ninety instead. That, that's a good point, though, isn't it? Like. The, the the weird situation we are in is the argue I think Xbox players more likely let's be honest to buy an Xbox PlayStation players will buy a PlayStation but we're at a point in time now where you've got two things going on um, you've got Xbox Game Pass you've got hundreds of games for what ten fifteen quid a month if you've got I think like the Ultimate Edition they've just partnered with EA so you get EA X access included in that price as well um, which is, which is it's I not, think is a really good fucking it's not deal. Their f- old premium though it's the um it's like basic is it basic i I looked into it yeah you don't get all the games all right okay i i wasn't i haven't looked completely into it but still it's a pretty you know you're getting another service included you get that on steam now as well by the way oh look at that but (laughs) sorry i felt really condescending (laughs) (laughs) it sounded good too um yeah, I think I meant it. Uh, <laughs> the other thing, the other thing as well is like, where where are the launch titles for the Xbox? There doesn't seem to be that many. Like, it's got a great service there. Um, it's got a, a great entry level um, console and pricing to back it up as well. So you know, pe- it get it gets to Christmas. You know, things are tight. You get you know, some people are getting up with the Xbox Series X uh, S, not the X. Um, and you can get the game pass you can get some games included that, that's a really good deal and obviously like luke said you, you know break it down you're getting interest free it, it's basically making it accessible for everyone but there doesn't seem to be that many um launch titles for it if you know they seem to be mostly relying on third party titles uh brad and then look at how many launch titles are available for the playstation 5 i mean what what are you picking up day one for the playstation 5 uh just spider-man to start with but like i could get like demon souls if i wanted to give that a go again yes uh assassin's creed's out i think i mean technically Um, that's third party but you've got uh you got sack boy there's gonna be um godfall's coming out but technically that's coming out on epic games as well ratchet and clank Uh, ratchet and clank is that a launch game i can't remember i don't think that's a launch game it is is it a launch game? Yes. Okay. It's um, well, it's coming but, out of the launch window. I know that. Oh, okay. But there, there's a few. I mean, November's pretty stacked as it is anyway. Um, yeah, I was going to say, like, 
at Cyberpunk comes out the day I will be picking up my PS5. So I'll probably just get that and play that. But on PC. (laughs) 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 I just picked up this really brand new PS5. I'm going to play my PC. I I wouldn't worry about that problem. Cyberpunk will get put back again. Mm. Yeah. It looks fucking good though. There's There's another um, showcase coming up for it. So I'm going to check that out. That was today. Yeah, there's a two, three minute trailer for it. So I'm going to check that out. I'm really looking forward to Cyberpunk. Uh, Ghost Runner finally has a release date. Um, of October the 27th on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Oh, I'll be able to smash that out before it comes out then. Yes. You'll be able to do what Rob does with games. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm not rooting... I'm in a weird situation because I don't feel like I need to actually get a console. Uh, like what um, Rob said, you know, if you're looking for Microsoft's main titles, you can grab them on PC now. Yeah, Game Pass yeah. works on PC. Yeah, it's really, um, well, it works on your phone now as well if you've got the right stuff. What? Wait, I do, do I have the right stuff? <laughs> you do not have the right stuff. Oh, I don't thing. know what the you have like the gadget. And I I don't know what it is. Um, yeah. There was only one game that I saw on the um, PlayStation Five reveal stream, whatever it was, um, and it was called Death Loop. I was like, wow, that looks, oh, that looks, looks so really good. good. And I was really sad to see that it's a PlayStation exclusive. But the next day I was I checked it again and in small print it says also available on PC. I was like, yes. But that's yeah, also that's gonna, gonna make good on PC. That should make Luke happy because I'm pretty sure Luke was looking forward to that we, as well. Didn't we talk about this on one of our previous episodes? Yes, yeah, yeah, it was like when they did the two or um, three or something. It was the PS5. It looks like event Bioshock thing. with PvP. It's amazing. Yeah, it, it, that was the the one that we talked about before that caught my attention. But I'm yeah. quite interested to know that that's on PC. I might what, check that if out. If you like that, you should play Bioshock because that's also fucking good. But there we go. No PvP. Though. That's a conversation. There were uh, two more that I'm definitely picking up. They're not launched, but God of War. Oh, God Ragnarok of War. Hell yeah. Got announced. Yeah. Yes, it did. Um, 100%. That first game when was When that comes so out, good. my kids' PlayStation's getting <laughs> confiscated. <laughs> I think the the whole point is whatever you whatever you're picking up in November, you, you know everyone's kind of winning. Um, you know, obviously Xbox have their Game Pass, and then PlayStation basically went, okay, we don't have Game Pass, but what we're going to do in November is if you have PlayStation Plus, they're throwing out games for you to have on your PlayStation Five from day one. So you're going to have Batman, Arkham Knight, Battlefield One, Bloodborne, Days Gone, Detroit, God of War. Uh, God of War, Infamous, uh, The Last of Us, The Last Guardian, uh, Monster Hunter, Persona 5, More Mortal Kombat, Ratchet and Clank, the original game on PlayStation 4, Resident Evil 7, Until Dawn, and Uncharted 4, which I think is a really cool thing to see. Uh, I'm surprised. PS Plus game, the- right? Yeah. So you're going to get all those games already included in your pricing that you pay for at the minute if you've got PlayStation Plus. And no, it's not available on PlayStation 4. Um, <laughs> but they will be there for you to play on day one. So that the great thing about that for me is, you, you, I know you kind of want that PlayStation 5 experience, but then it's kind of like, here's a load of games that you can play if you haven't played them and you can catch up and play them on your PlayStation 5. That is really fucking cool. Yeah. I think anyway. I haven't yeah. played God of War yet. Um, oh, dude, you need to. You should play it, man. It's so Such good. Such a good game. I would replay Resident Evil 7. I haven't played Until Dawn. I really want to play Until Dawn as a horror game. So, I'm Bloodborne, dude. Brad, you got to fucking do it. I know. I do I do need to play that still. And you get it uh, for free. You really don't. The other one that got don't. it. Tra- I know. I know. I got it on the PS4 store, but if I can play it on PS5, I might as well play it on PS5. Or just don't play it at all. Uh, what was the other or, one, Brad? Or that, because I've given up on every other Souls game. So, uh, Final Fantasy 16. Because yes. I loved 15. I know 15 you did. was really good. Are, are you happy for the return to medieval style Final, Final Fantasy? Instead uh, of to like, be honest, I never have really played Final Fantasy. I just loved 15. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, November. I'm looking forward to it. If you can get hands on a PlayStation anyway, that whole debacle is absolutely insane at the minute. Because apparently uh, they're going to have more on launch than the PS4, so I'm sure it'd be fine. Yeah. I feel like they're doing a whole Nintendo strategy at the minute. They always kind of do this, don't they, Rob? 
with consoles. Yeah. It's like, oh, we've, yeah. yeah this, we've sold out because it's so popular. And okay, really, we've only, got... How many people have like sold like three? We have 10 minutes. I'm, get, I'm getting... Mm-hmm. I'm getting tea, tea timed out. 15. 15. Oh, we got 15. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's move on quickly. Rob, did you get your RTX 3080 today? No. No? I thought you were just... That's why you were having twins, to sell them off and buy a couple of graphics cards. No, 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 no. no my, you can just my get PC it and pay runs, 12 months. My PC runs perfectly at the moment. Why would I want to upgrade? Okay. Well, much like you, it sounds like nobody else got uh, RTX 3080 today because apparently people are botting uh the sites and basically picking them up and slapping on on ebay as soon as possible really so, yeah they Jesus. tripled the price and slapped them on uh ebay at the minute wow people, oh, yeah. people are cunts aren't they so they're sticking them on there for like two grand like a 3080 which is fucking insane uh yeah it's a bit of a mess but uh hopefully things get sorted soon enough because i kind of want one I was looking it's at like it. IRL Tarkov. Everyone's like buying stuff and then flipping it. Yeah. I mean, like a real fucking catch 22 at the mix. I'm like, one new graphics card, console. Which am I going to play more? Which do I play more at the minute? PC. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but on the back of that, uh, Gigabyte also accidentally leaked additional RTX models, Roberts. Yeah. Did you hear about this? Uh, no. Only the picture you, you put in chat. Okay, so but this, it's, probably, it's it's inevitable. That there's going to be like super editions or TI edition, editions of every single fucking Nvidia card in the three in the three three thirty the three thousand series. Yes, that's just what um, they do. And then they'll have they'll have ones in between those ones, and then they'll have in ones in between those. Yeah, You're see, not I've, I've not and I've not been part of this whole PC building process for that long. <clears throat> but even I fucking know that. Like, why is this yeah. a surprise to people? There was a ten. No, eight, there was a ten eighty Ti. I've got a twenty seventy Super. There's obviously going to be a thirty eighty Ti and a thirty ninety Ti and a fucking thirty seventy Super Ti Golden Founders Edition. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, there we go. How That's... is this a surprise to people? Yeah, it's not a surprise, but you wouldn't link this shit on the same day that you're re- you're launching your first edition cards. Yeah, what a difference of, does it make? Oops. True, true. It, like the, the people that want one right now, obviously know that a TI will be coming and don't want to wait. And the people that aren't buying one right now are waiting for a TI to come. What fucking difference does it make when this graphic comes out? Yeah, I'd wait. I'd wait too. Brad, Brad, what do you think of this news? Uh, I'm not going to be getting one so i haven't really looked into it okay I, well like, for the i'd have to upgrade more stuff if i was to get a 30 series so there's no point what are you running now uh 2070 right well so it's just it's, it's just yeah. it's just insane that they've confirmed unannounced graphic cards graphics cards with like an rtx 3080 with 20 gig video ram that's insane like they're at ten standard, aren't they, Rob? Yeah. And then the thirty ninety is twenty four gig. Fair play. But then RTX thirty seventy can have six. Imagine if there's so... a thirty ninety Ti. It's gonna have fifty gigabytes of VRAM. <laughs> yeah, so many almost... teraflops, you're gonna be able to flop it over your teraflops. Uh... <laughs> What's a teraflop? <laughs> yeah. Don't ask Rob what a Terry flop is, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't, well, don't want to know. I don't it's when you make know. Terry flops over a bench. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, we might actually end on time this week. Uh, yeah. Anyway, recommendations uh, for this week's episode. Uh, Adam Sandler, you know, the, the guy has so many hits. He's bringing out a new film. Uh, on obviously as part of his Netflix deal, it's a Halloween film, and we checked out the trailer. I believe what was it last week? After, after the last week's after last podcast, wasn't it? I believe, it, after, I believe it was. Yeah, we went on a I bit. Think you're a, right. So two weeks ago, went down a bit of a rabbit hole, didn't we? Yeah, uh, it's called Who Be Halloween, and it is coming this October. What did you think of the trailer, it's, boys? I'm going to go straight to Robert. It's then. Bobby Boucher, grown up. Obsessed with Halloween. Yep. 
he got over his water obsession and he went on to Halloween. <laughs> He's now obsessed with Halloween. Okay, can I just yeah, say how glad? Away. Can I just say how glad I am to see Adam Sandler <laughs> doing an accent again, like a <laughs> dumbass <laughs> accent again? It's so fucking good. Uh, Brad, what did you think of the trailer for this one? I haven't watched it. <laughs> have you still not seen it? <laughs> no, I, I, well, I, I must have missed this when you were talking about it. Yeah, I, think you I, went off, I think you went offline. I mean, me and Mike and Luke went down a rabbit hole. Oh, we were watching it and we were but, in stitches watching it. It's actually, it's not actually Bobby Boucher, is it? Is it just like <laughs> it the might, same it, character? When you watch the trailer, you will realise what we mean, but it, it might I'll, as I'll watch well, it after it this. might as well be Bobby Boucher. Yeah, it's like Bobby Boucher grew up, grew, grew a moustache, and yeah, it's For those who great, don't but... know, Bobby Boucher is a character from the film Warboy. If you haven't yeah. <laughs> seen Warboy, then go and watch Warboy before you. Yeah, it's if, great. If, if you haven't seen Waterboy, where the hell have you been? Yeah, Brad, have I you feel seen like Waterboy? Adam Sandler's? I, I have actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I was going to say, I feel like Adam Sandler could be another special. Oh, I think it needs to be. Shit yeah, films. I didn't. I've, I don't know. I don't know. Some of them are pretty good. I to be think fair. the worst one is the one where he plays himself as a twin, but that's a completely story altogether. Um, basically, it's a comedy family film about an unlikely hero, hero, uh, who thankfully spends Halloween making sure the residents of his hometown, Salem, celebrate safely and play by the rules. But this year, an escaped criminal and now mysterious new neighbor have hu hubby, or Hubie, on the high alert, and people start disappearing. It's up to. Uh, Hubie to start convincing Hobby. the police. Hubie? Is it Hobby? It's not Hobby. I don't oh, know. I said Luke's Bobby. The face. <laughs> no, he said Bobby. All oh, right, Bobby. Okay. Uh, when you say Hobby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I put it across the two over. Hobby uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the There's a huge fucking cast in this as well. Uh, Kevin James, Keenan Thompson. No, he's not dead. It might be the other one. No one can remember. Anyway. Uh, Who loves our own soda? Yeah, Kel loves <laughs> <laughs> uh, He basically has to convince the police that townsfolk uh, that monsters are real and only he can stop them. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like dumbass fun. It looks so stupid. Yeah. It looks terrible. It looks like a and classic Adam Sandler film. Yeah. Yep. Gotta be honest, it looks better than The Ridiculous Six. So I'm on board. I'll be watching that for sure. I haven't even watched it and I'm on board. Yes. I'm watch it after this. <laughs> we sold it to Brad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and finally, I'd say last recommendation. I'll be honest, I haven't played it yet. It dropped out of nowhere on a Nintendo Direct. I'm going to get a lot of shit off two people on this podcast. No one cares. All right. <laughs> Ori, I disagree. A lot of people will care, I think. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is now available on the, on the Nintendo Store. How old's that game? You this year, I believe. I'm trying You're to. You're fight... thinking of the Blind Forest. The Blind how Forest. Long was that, how long has that game been on Steam? <laughs> it's not Which on Steam. one? Ori, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Not long. Six months. Maybe. Yeah. No. A little bit less. No maybe. one fucking cares. <laughs> it's not on Switch though, dude. Look. Why are you taking Rob's going to buy a 3090 to play Ori on the Steam. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Luke, it's done. <laughs> Why, Luke. Hi. Luke. Rob. <laughs> okay. I, I would get you confused, but I don't know how when one of you has a fucking Amish neck beard, but that's, that's a whole different My conversation. Neck has not got a beard on it, actually. I was thinking, like, if you look, like, sort of. From Mike and then round to me, then Lucas, like stages of beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brad, are you looking forward to playing Ori and the Will of yes, the Wisps? Yes, I am. I really like the first one, so I'm definitely going to get this when are I'm you, done farming. Are you <laughs> That's what Rob's doing, <laughs> doing at the minute. Fucking neck bit. Dude, you just need a straw hat or some shit. You're like, I'm oh, just fuck. <laughs> Can I just point out this is a podcast? People can't see what you're laughing at. <laughs> also, Amish don't use technology. So, being, yeah, so you being have to give up your PC. It's well. like just a bit of a nay nay for them. <laughs> nay nay. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they use horses a lot. What are you talking about? 
I'd need a horse. I'd, from. I'd need a horse-powered computer. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> oh, that's so, I'm, I'm like such an underrated out. comment. <laughs> what horse-powered computer? No, the the nay nay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. But yeah, uh, if you're interested, or in the world, the West is out now. I'm looking forward to playing it and raging once again. Hey, Brad. I could play that no, on my phone. You, you, you struggled a lot more than I did. I, I could play that on my yeah. phone. Probably not on 60 FPS, but. Uh, you don't have a phone. You've got. Oh, one. yeah, I'm on this. I forgot. It's a horse powered phone. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose before we go, Luke, we need, we need a sweet answer to that question you gave at the start oh, of the show. God. I don't think I can talk right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what am I doing? <laughs> if you need to, just be, put, your, put your hand over Rob's face. <laughs> Shall I, uh, with a pillow in my I'll hand. Tell you that. <laughs> I can oh, still see dear. it through that. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, so earlier er, 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 I asked you which one of Tom Hanks' films starred his wife and his kids as well as him. Uh, <laughs> it was his 1996 directorial debut, That Thing You Do, which is actually a really good film. It's where he's a manager of a boy band, and it's really actually quite quite a fun film. I don't think I've seen that. I've never heard of it. Yeah, he cheated a bit because it was his directorial, directorial di- debut, so he put his kids in the background in one of the scenes as cameos, uh, and his wife played a waitress, I think, something like that. But yeah, it was a bit of a trick really, question, to be fair. There's a really weird... So he wasn't actually in it, he was a director. No, he, he was he in played, it as well. He was in it as well. He played the manager of the you, band. <laughs> Oh, Can okay. you put your camera back on? It's really I was going to say who said that, but <laughs> it wouldn't be funny to people that can see. Um, hey, there see he is. The Welcome film back. where he has like a... What's the film where he has like a cloud on his brain? Is it called a, a cloud on his brain? He has like something wrong with his brain. He tries to walk, He tries to go and jump into a volcano. You mean Joe versus the volcano? If that's the name of the film, then yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I, I'll check with our accountant. Hello? He's, he's no comment. I, I have no idea. It's a really okay. messed up film. I'm pretty I, sure I it's Joe versus the volcano. I haven't seen a film where Tom Hanks tries to commit suicide. I'm, I'm going to admit to that. It's old. It's really old. It's one of his first films, I think. I was really young. Yeah, it's 1990, Joe versus the volcano. Uh, weird thing I noticed this week after watching Karate Kid that Ali, the girl friend, in that film, also plays Jennifer in Back to the Future 2 and 3. And it was freaky as fuck. And I was like, she they literally looked like they pulled her out of the set for the Karate Kid. Who plays her in one? Someone completely different. There's two different actresses between the three, wow. one and two. Good job with cute, not cute continuity, guys. You guys? Anyway, that is it, I guess, for this episode. How are we doing for time, Luke? Or Almost Brad? perfect. Perfect. Luke's happy. Brad, are you happy? I'm happy. <laughs> How's your horse, Brad? <laughs> he needs a piss. Okay. We better end this show. <laughs> uh, thank you very what much. A great way to end the show. <laughs> joining us on this disheveled episode of Sit Rep Happy Hour. Uh, hopefully we'll catch you on our Keanu Reeves episode in a couple of weeks. Bye. Cheers. Well, cheers. 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 <laughs>